are going to try to make an entire Roblox game in less than one week to save the world. This could go amazingly well or end in absolute disaster. And if there's anything I learned from making Roblox games, it's that making games really quickly rarely ends well. But when Mr. Beast is seeking help to raise $30 million to save the world, you know we gotta at least try. So apparently Jimmy and Mark contacted me early about this and I didn't even see this email. Hey Sabrina, we're reaching out to you because you were one of the OG creators who made 20 million more trees exist in the world because of Team Trees. Two years later, we're once again collectively fist bumping the earth by gathering hundreds of creators to try to raise 30 million dollars to get 30 million pounds of trash slash plastic out of the ocean. So donating one dollar means one less pound of trash or plastic in the ocean. It's going to be massive. Yes, it is. Let's do this. 30 million dollars is so ridiculously audacious. The only way we'll be able to pull this off is if we take over the internet again like we did for Team Trees. So guys, go ahead and check out the link in the description. Go donate right now to Team Seas. Let's get 30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean. I don't want to let them down, so we're going to attempt to make a game in the short amount of time that we have. We only found out five days before. We're still going to try, and I just want to break down the reason why paying developers to make a Roblox game and then donating the funds from that to Team C's is better than us just making a video and donating personally. One, the earnings from the game will far surpass the amount we could donate personally. We know this because of Team Trees when we made Tree Planting Simulator. Two, YouTubers who want to participate but don't know what video to do now have something perfect to play for the occasion which helps spread Team C's even more. Three, the truth of the matter is we can ask you all to click the link in the description as much as we want and go donate directly on the Team C's website, but some people are going to be more drawn to spending Robux in a game and getting something in return at the same time. Even with Roblox's 30% Robux fee, those people may not have taken the time to go to the site and directly donate, so every little bit still counts. So between providing content for other creators to use in this campaign, providing a learning experience that expands past YouTube onto Roblox, and providing Robloxians something fun to do while also doing something good for the environment, I think this is a win-win for everyone and best case scenario for what we can provide for this campaign. So let's get to work. So yesterday, DJ tweeted in hopes to find developers who are interested in making a simulator in five days and we actually found someone. So then the next step was to figure out who's gonna model and animate the stuff in this game because we, we need a modeler slash builder, we need stuff. And so we went to the people who made the stuff for Tree Planting Simulator. They also worked on some pets and stuff and builds for RB Battles, this girl and Part Rust. They're a really great team and they agreed. So so we were super happy and excited. That is how we got started in one day. That was impressive. So we only have four more days to go to get minimum gameplay. We gotta like start a Trello and find a bunch of boat ideas and pet ideas and just overall just plan as much as we can. I'm gonna go ahead and make the game passes and badges and DJ is going to make the Discord server. So DJ, let's get to work. We don't have enough time. Let's do it. Oh my gosh! So I'm putting together like our stuff for our social media and our Discord right now, and I'm using this logo that was made by Haces, I think his name is, and I found him on Twitter. He also made the logo for Russo. So. Oh my gosh, that is so good. <laughs> yeah, it's like next level stuff. This is really cool. Wow. Dang, nailed it. All right, so I just finished making the Discord for Sea Cleaning Simulator. I feel like it's kind of an important step because like we need people to be able to report bugs and stuff. So I just had to do it. It took a really long time. I forgot how long it took to make something with like the proper bots and stuff, but I finally finished it. Yay! And one person happened to find the server before anyone else. <laughs> this is literally the first person to join the server. <laughs> so I just got a tweet in from someone named Code Primate, and apparently they're working on a Roblox game as well, which is pretty cool. I said, wow, that's awesome. The more the merrier. Ours is a simulator. I think theirs is a rounds-based game, so they're not the same, and it's just more Team C's support. So I'm excited to check that out, and uh, I find that interesting because we were the only ones crazy enough last time to make a game, so... Um, I'm very interested to check it out. So I just spent like literally like 
two hours looking up boats and trying to like just send a bunch of screenshots to DJ's Discord so that we wouldn't lose them. We're taking like a bunch of these boats and just sort of using them as concept ideas for potential boats. And we have to sort of like figure out the progression of like what's going to be the first boats and what's going to be the most OP boats. And don't you love that we found a flamingo one? <laughs> That's going to be great. And then I also try to like look up the pet ideas. We really want like the pets in the boats. So we think that's gonna be really fun and cute. So we set up a Trello to organize this. This is a, something a lot of like people doing things in projects use. There's many types of these types of like things, but Trello is like the most like basic, I feel like. And we sort of put like the boat ideas in here in order of what we think it should be just for the modeler to sort of follow. And we don't want them to be exactly like this. We, it's just a starting point for the modeler. We also thought of like pet names. DJ thought of all of these right here. So here is some of the trash that the modeler started. By the way, part rest is the modeler. Oh my gosh, look. This is actually really good trash. Like I, I was just expecting like ugly blobs of like trash in the water, but like this is legit trash. There's a sock. It's, it's literally trash. Like it's actually trash. <laughs> There's a sock. Oh my gosh. Yum beans, cocoa bar, news. There's even a newspaper. These are too good. These are too good to be trash. I think I think it's trash. Wow, DJ, I see how it is. It literally is. <laughs> That's the best compliment I can give you that it's trash. Because <laughs> it because I guess he accomplished it. Yes, yes, great trash, great trash. Oh my gosh, we're getting a first look at the boats for area one and two. This is I, I just can't believe how good these are. I, this is literally going to be an amazing game. Like I thought it was just going to be just like, I don't know what I thought it was going to be, but I'm legit excited for this. And I actually just feel like we have a lot of plans for it now. Like we would keep this going if you guys liked it enough. I'm just, I'm really hyped right now. And part rest is nailing it on the boats. Let's go. <laughs> for boat upgrading, I'm pretty sure like DJ had like a really specific vision after seeing like an example somewhere that you really liked what what was it yeah again? it was that that game thing so yeah. minor game oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah are you imagining like it was... clicking like a button repeatedly to upgrade yeah i kind of think that's how we should do it i think that it's kind of like a clicker game at that point and i, I think i kind of like that yeah the faster you click it the faster you upgrade <laughs> but also it gives you more control over how much how many coins you're spending too right, right. so, so, so like... it makes sense like, do you drive your boat up to an upgrade station and then like a UI pops up and it says like... So I imagine there's like a dock on the upgrade station or something or some sort of like thing that you drive your boat into. The icon pops up and then when you click it, I imagine it just plays like an animation and every time you click it, it just keeps playing the animation. And then like maybe every time you click it, there's a nice little satisfying particle effect and like a... Or like something, something satisfying, you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what were you thinking for the animation? That's that's where I wanted to talk to Part Rust because if I tell Part Rust to put like little robotic arms on there or something, he'll do it, and mm -hmm. then and then this girl will make it look amazing. <laughs> like it's just yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> They're kind of awesome. So mechanical arms on the dock, right? Yeah, that's, that that's, that's kind of what I'm imagining, I guess. Um, <laughs> we might have to get on a call with Part Rust and figure out like all the details for the map. We tried our best, as best as we could, like kind of drawing out the progression and like putting all yeah. the builds needed, but um, I'm sure he's gonna have more questions. Should I join studio and, and play it? Is it even working? Uh, yeah, 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 it works. All right, I'm gonna I join. mean like Roblox. Oh, Roblox? Oh, yeah, yeah, studio works. Roblox itself, no. Oh, okay. oh. I was gonna say, Roblox going down a day before launch? How yeah, are we gonna right? do this? Time. Oh wait, actually, I don't think we, uh, I don't, uh, I was just in studio and tried to go back and this is what I see. Oh, well. I guess studio is broken, <laughs> no. So it's the day of release and we have some really, really bad news about Roblox. It's been down for like an entire day. This has been up on my screen. I haven't touched it since last night. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. What is this? It's literally an 
damage. We're making things more awesome. Be back soon. This is the longest in history that I've been playing on Roblox that Roblox has been down the song. Like I've never witnessed anything like this. It's literally trending on Twitter. I tweeted that it was down when I woke up. My tweet had like 5,000 likes, which is a lot for me. And I thought I clicked on the wrong tweet. I was so confused. This this is, this is huge. I, I understand. <laughs> and our devs can't do anything. Every time you try to join Roblox Studio, it says that <sighs> you need extra guac or something. I don't know. It says something about guac. Yeah. Which so. is weird because Chipotle is going on right now. So I don't know what's going on. Long story short, we're definitely not going to be able to release our game today. Maybe even tomorrow. We don't know how long Roblox is going to be out. So every like is one more. Good luck for Roblox to come back. Just because Roblox is down, that's not gonna stop us from trying to get this game done as soon as possible. As soon as it comes back, we're getting right back to work. Follow us on Twitter for updates, and when we're done, we'll make a video announcing the game. And in the meantime, don't forget to go donate to Team Seas. Let's save the oceans. 30 I mean, million seas. pounds, let's get it out of there. <laughs>